You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Moyette versus Lester. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Moyette, you're here in court today to prove that Mr. Lester, a man who is 20 years older than you, is the father of your three-month-old daughter, Nyla Moyette. Is yes. that correct? Yes, Your Honor. You claim Mr. Lester has done nothing for your daughter, therefore you're suing for half of child-rearing expenses. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Lester, you say that you and Ms. Moyette were never in a relationship and that she had multiple sex partners during her time of conception, so you are 100% certain that you are not the father of baby Nyla. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Moyette, what has been Mr. Lester's involvement in baby Nyla's life since her birth? Well, Your Honor, Mr. Lester has hardly been involved in Nyla's life. Um, besides the fact of three cases of diapers, a onesie that he bought for her, which was a boy outfit, um... Other than that, me and my mother have been providing for her food, milk, and everything, and things like that. I also have evidence here showing you that um, I have been bu um, buying, providing clothes, um, food, cribs, Let me everything. see that evidence. Mr. Lester, you haven't done anything for the child? That's not correct, Your Honor. I did buy sleepers, uh, bottles, and things of that nature. Did he buy some sleepers and some bottles? Yes, Your Honor. So, this list of expenses that you've presented to the court outlines various monthly expenses. Formula, diapers, wipes, clothes. Expenses total $1,109 in child care expenses. Mr. Lester, you say you've contributed to some of that. Yes, Your Honor. He's contributed to... Three cases of diapers and some sleepers that's for a boy. Okay, but she could still wear them. She could still wear them, <laughs> but the thought this... You knew I had a girl. Why are you coming in my house with boy clothes? No, I understand that. So, so diapers and some onesies uh, you've purchased. <clears throat> How much do you think he's spent on your child thus far? He's spent maybe about $250 on Nyla so far. Do you agree with that, Mr. Lester? I don't keep a count on how much Do you much have I any spent? receipts? No, I don't. Without any receipts or proof of what you say you spend, I can only go off of what Ms. Moyette says you spent and what the evidence is that's presented. I understand. Let me move forward and hear more about the case. I'll get back to this in just a moment. When you told him about the pregnancy, what was his reaction, Ms. Moyette? He was not happy. I actually planned this pregnancy. I went over to his house the day I was ovulating. Okay? And I let him know, babe, I'm ovulating. I want to have a baby. We did that nothing... That is not true. Yeah, we did honor. nothing to prevent Nyla. And to make matters even worse, since I've had Nyla, we still haven't done anything to prevent another one. He's actually Ronda even is... told me. I went to my Ronda, sixth We don't week. even have... Some... Yeah, I'm... Uh, can I speak, Mr. Lester? Actually... I went to my six-week prenatal appointment and asked him, yes, they're going to ask me, do I want birth control? Should I get on it? He told me no, because I'm going to want another one soon. Your Honor, that is so not true. Your Honor, not yes, only, it is. Not only do we not have a sexual relationship now, we haven't... Since, since she told me she was pregnant... Your Honor, that's a lie. And now, it's not... Had... Your Honor, we've had sex since I've had my daughter five times. I've counted. That's not true. Well, she's only three months old. Exactly. <laughs> You, so, you, Mr. Your Lester, Honor, you're saying that this is all in her mind? Yes, Your Honor. It is definitely in her mind. We've had sex, and I don't know you, why you're lying. Like, we did, we just had sex yesterday. <laughs> is that true? Yes, that's true. Your Honor. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, but can I explain, Your Honor? Yesterday, we did have sex. That is true. Prior to that... And Yesterday, when you had sex, did you use protection? Yeah. No! <laughs> Iris! Your Honor! I have no reason to lie. I plant my, my baby's pregnancy. I plant this. I wanted to be with him. I still want to be with him. What she's saying is you were having unprotected sex with her then, and even since this child's birth, you're still having unprotected sex with her which means that you are a possible father if, in fact, that sex occurred during the window of conception. I understand that, Your Honor. So, do you agree that you had sex with her during the time when Nyla was conceived? 
Yes, I did. And that sex was unprotected? Without protection, no. Yeah, Anna, that's a lie. Me and they have never used a condom since the first time we've ever had sex. Mm. Now, that is a lie, That Your is Honor. not a and lie. And you're saying, Miss Moya, you, you planned the pregnancy? I planned the pregnancy. Are you deciding in your own mind, I'm gonna have a baby, or are you consulting with him and he's agreeing? No, I consulted, he didn't agree. Oh! Ooh. Oh, wait! So you said, I want to have a baby, and he said, I don't want to have a baby, and then you went on ahead and had a baby. Correct. Oh. Well, she told the truth. Yes, she did. <laughs> Mr. Lester... Yes, Your Honor. You weren't interested in having a child. No, I wasn't, Your Honor. I only was interested in the friendship. She became more obsessed. Every time she expressed... Um, how much she cared for me and how much she wanted to be in a relationship, I expressed how much I didn't want. And I never misled Miss Moyette or anybody when I told her that this was strictly about sex. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. I did want a sexual relationship without without being in a committed relationship. I did, I did want that, and she agreed to it. I and agreed both, to it in the beginning. And when he to told that. me that he loved me, it opened me up to the fact that, well, maybe it could be. I mean, my background um, is not the best as far as me and my father. So him coming along, being older, being what I wanted from my father, I clung to that. When you're with someone every single day and you're at his house every single day, how are we not together? How are we not boyfriend and girlfriend? And my mother could contest to that. Your Honor, that is so not true. Uh, we, we were not together every day. I wasn't mentally ready for a committed relationship, but I did But, m Mr. Want a Lester, mm -hmm. whether you were ready or not has absolutely nothing to do with whether or not you are... Nyla's biological father. You understand that? I, I totally agree. Because, look, you're 45 years old. Absolutely. So, when a woman says to you, I want to have your baby, and you say, no, I really don't want you to, and you're still having sex without protecting yourself, you you're know, setting yourself up. I, I've only had sex with Iris for five times. Oh, That's a lie. It, You've never used a honor. condom. Now, with the girls that he's cheating on me with... He used condoms, but he's never used a condom with me, and you know that. So stop lying. Your stop. Honor, not only did we use a condom the I first never day, used a condom with Nathaniel. Why would always... I get on national TV and say I never used a condom? That's not a good thing. <laughs> that is very honest testimony, Jerome. <laughs> Mr. Lester, I want to ask you, what are your doubts exactly? I have at least five doubts, and I would like to show... I see you brought an exhibit. Yes. And, and, um, <laughs> yes. Go ahead on over to you. Thank you. And represent yourself. My first doubt is... When I first met Miss Moyet, she told me her name was Mia. Okay. Come to find out her name was Iris. I left her name in, in my contents as Mia because she was always missing in action. That's what M-I-A stand for. Two, she told me out of her own mouth she had a boyfriend. Okay. One, she didn't appreciate that I wasn't spending time with her. I don't show her any affection. And that she has a boyfriend that's better than me. And, and I asked her, well, why are you calling me tonight? Her response to me was, I, I could do both of y'all. I could do him Monday and do you Tuesday. <gasps> Yana, that's a lie. Let me tell you. That's a lie, Yana. Thirdly, I come by, I see her with the same guy over and over and over again. The neighborhood the guy. The neighborhood guy, yes. <laughs> Over and over and over again. She admitted to having sex with that guy. That, that is true. Because I asked, why are you always... That, that, is, that is true. true. That is true, Jerome. Four. She Hold did. The truth again. Fourthly, she used to ask me to take her over to a relative's house. Come to find out, that house, I've learned through the street, is a party house, a.k.a. sex house. A sex house? That's a not sex true, Your Honor. Now, Wait a minute. First I'll of all, tell it. me what a sex house is. What's the sex house? A sex house is 
a party house. I learned Yana, that... Boy, were you having sex at the party house? No, but he did drop me off at that house occasionally. He did drop Was it me the party house? No, it's not a party house. It's a friend of mine house. Do and people have sex there? She doesn't allow anyone to have sex in her house but her and her husband. That's not true, Your Honor. I a know lot of... And fact, number three to one, it ain't true. I know for a fact that that, that house is a, is, is a party. is not good. Okay. Fifth... We always had protected sex. We have protected sex, Your Honor. Ms. Ms. Let Yana, me explain. Ms. Let me explain. Mr. Lester and I have never had protected sex. Only when I was forced herself on me did we not have protected. And when I Whether say I forced, forced myself when on I him say, or not, it was always unprotected. I know how old I am, and I know what sex leads to. And I just want to point out to you the, the, the percentages of older men having babies and how it declines. Some more research. And, yeah, some research that Let me I've see done, that, Jerome. Mr. Lester, you're trying this case. You better go ahead. Yeah. Um, you got your evidence. Yeah. So it says, between the ages of 30 and 50, the average man's sperm declines by up to 30% in volume and swims up to 37% slower. Yes, absolutely. So your research shows that you... Slowing down. Exactly. <laughs> with, with the fact that she has a, other partners, so the chances of me being that being the father is very slim. And do you have any children? Yes, I do. Well, Your he Honor. does everything in the world for. Her. Absolutely. And won't even acknowledge my daughter. Do you know? how hurtful it is to be on the phone with him and he's planning his future and my daughter name won't even come up and it's just it's just hurtful cuz that's mine and and I don't know like he wouldn't even rub my belly when I was pregnant he wouldn't you know it it was like I couldn't even get him to to acknowledge the fact that I was pregnant I couldn't get him to to go walk, look at an ultrasound picture with me I couldn't get him to to do anything I couldn't ask him for ice without him getting irritated I couldn't ask him for something to eat without getting me kicked out I have to say this to young women all the time why are we having children by men that don't want us or children by us. Why, why are we making these decisions? <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, Yana. You brought a witness. I want to hear from her. Your name is? Tyra Williams. Ms. Williams, thank you for being here. You are Ms. Moyet's mother. Mother. Okay. Yes. What do you know about this situation? I know what's been put in front of me, Your Honor. I know he lied about his age. He did? Yes. He told her he was 39 years old. Um, it wasn't until later on she found out that he was 45 years old. I'm 44, mm. okay? He was calling me Miss Tyra all the way up until I found out. And I told him, don't call me Miss Tyra, you older than me. <laughs> and you knew that. My age has nothing to do with two grown people having a child. Because you were old enough to be her father. Is there a reason why you going after 25, 26-year-old women? Your Honor, I've never misled Iris on our status. Do you hear what he's saying? Yes, Your Honor. I know when you say you had the love of an older man, you, it was filling a void, you felt, for not having the love of your father. You were saying that. But regardless of what this result is today, I don't want you running around behind him. Do you understand me? Yes, Your Honor. You're better than that, and you deserve more than that. Thank you, Your Honor. All right? <laughs> I'm ready for the result. Jerome? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Moyet versus Lester, pertaining to three-month-old Nyla Moyet, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Lester. Yes. You. Our Nyla's father. Yes! Yes! Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? You need to be respectful. Didn't I tell you? Ma'am. 
I understand you're upset. Yes. You use proper language. Do not approach him. Oh, shit, not so. Oh, no. No. Go ahead and have a seat. Mama told him that that baby was his. I know it is. I know when it's over now. It's over. Take a deep breath, Ms. Moyet. I'm sorry, Yana. That's so sad because that... Like, I gotta protect her, and it just hurt for me to look at her every day knowing somebody denying her. Mr. Lester, what do you feel? Um, torn because I never, ever meant to hurt Iris in any type of way, but I was always stern on how I felt as far as a relationship. You didn't protect yourself, so you set yourself up for this one. And if you're gonna play, you now got to what? Pay. Pay. I don't have a problem with that. Ms. Moyette, you presented expenses to the court totaling $1,109. Mr. Lester did contribute, you both agree, $250 towards child-rearing expenses. That leaves a total of $859, half of which is $429.50. For that reason, my judgment is in favor of the plaintiff for $429.50. Are we clear? Ms. Moyette, you do not have to chase behind him and endure the level of rejection that you've endured thus far. You have people in your life that value you and love you and, and will help you. Okay? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. You're welcome. I wish you the very, very best of luck. Court is adjourned. Take a seat. I'll walk them out.